Now to a building in Dubai that is really capturing the world's imagination and it has an Australian connection. It's the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, and last night it lit up the skyline with a grand opening. Standing at 828 metres, the Burj towers over its nearest rival, Taiwan's Taipei 101, which reaches a mere 508 metres. It's more than twice the height of New York's Empire State Building and two and a half times higher than Australia's tallest building, Eureka Tower. With 160 storeys and 120,000 square metres of glass, it's the window cleaner's Mount Everest, and an Australian company has won the highly contested cleaning contract. Dale Harding, the general manager of Cox Gold, joins us now. Uh, now, Dale, you design the equipment that cleans the tallest building in the world. How do you clean all those windows? Uh, we, we actually had uh, a total of 12 machines installed on the building uh, at various levels, plus some smaller systems up the top. Uh, and the machines come out of the building at various levels and uh, lower people down the side of the building to, uh, to access the windows and replace panels that are defective. Uh, it looks utterly terrifying uh, <laughs> by the pictures. Can I ask how long it takes to clean the building itself? Um, we anticipate around three months uh, to do a full cycle. Uh, so we're looking at four cycles in total per year. Uh, that's, the, that's the plan at this stage. D does that mean then that they're, they're literally just constantly cleaning the windows on this building? Yeah, that's right. The upper levels are uh, not quite the case, but certainly from level 40 and level 73 down, uh, they're continually cleaning and all the machines are, are working around the clock uh, for the entire duration. Sounds like painting the Sydney Harbour Bridge, Dale. <laughs> now, if, if you can design these machines that go around the building, which is a really impressive piece of design, why is it you can't make it so that people aren't needed? I mean, you still need people up there with squeegees and soap studs and all of this. Why couldn't you just totally automate it? Oh, there are a few organisations which have tried, um, but uh, most of the, the uh, projects we get involved with are more complex with uh, facade systems that are quite uh, tricky. Uh, there's projections on the facade which make a, a normal automated system uh, not a really a feasible option. Um, we also find that uh, the people do a better job usually than the machine. Now mate, I'm intrigued by window cleaning companies. Now there's so many windows, there must be a lot of shenanigans going on inside those windows. Is there a code of conduct that you're not allowed to report what you see inside those windows? <laughs> uh, nothing, uh, nothing official, um, <laughs> but uh, a lot of the facility managers in the big buildings uh, do ask us to uh, let them know which areas of the building uh, we're going to be cleaning on given days so that they can warn the tenants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure. A few interesting stories, but... <laughs> hey, how amazing. Know, Look at that awesome. how high up it is. God, they need danger money for that. Oh, Dale, yeah. do you actually need <laughs> oxygen when you're working up that high? No, no, we're, I think the highest part of the building is around 2,500 feet, so it's, uh, it's well short of that, but uh, our guys do carry uh, hydration packs on their back, uh, which is similar to some motorcycle or some cyclists would wear, um, to, uh, to keep hydrated and uh, you know, prevent themselves from, uh, from uh, having problems what with What if, uh, if they have to go to the toilet? Are they, is it okay to wee from up there? Or? <laughs> Uh, it, it requires a bit of forward planning. Um, once they uh, once they head out of the building, it uh, usually takes uh, they're there for most of the day. So uh, I haven't actually heard how they deal with it exactly. But, uh, <laughs> don't really want to know either. Uh, fascinating stuff, Dale. Thank you very much for joining us, and well done on designing the contraption. Now there is some massive news.